very very warm welcome to today's class now i know all of you guys are very excited why because we are starting with a brand new chapter that is friction so friction is what we'll be starting today and i hope that you guys have already checked out my previous classes on the previous chapter that is force and pressure if you haven't do check that also play the week quizzes that is there right below the video of all that sessions it's going to be super fun okay right now no right now watch this and then go back, go go to that uh, you know class all right so again guys a very warm welcome to my class if you guys are new here that means you do not know who i am so my name is mohan master teacher of science from vilantu here today and today's class is going to be very amazing because friction is one of my favorite chapter okay because it's very interesting to know how things work around this that's that's the beauty of science right you learn about how various things around us work and friction is one among that chapter that makes us to think whoa is that how it has been working all this while that's how exciting it's going to be if you guys are new here on vilantu young wonders make sure you click on that subscribe button click on the like button to let me know that you guys are here i am there right with all of you in the in the comments in the live chat i am there you can find me there because i'm watching who is liking who is commenting who is subscribing all of it so make sure that you guys subscribe right away now let's get to the topic so guys this is for grade 8 chapter is friction this is the first part of this chapter where we'll be trying to understand the introduction of friction the types we'll do in the second part all right let's go forward we are starting with a beautiful quote don't stop until you are proud guys be proud of yourself okay you do something great that when you go to bed you are like wow i did my best i am proud of myself that's what i always feel you know whenever i take continuous five classes you know and give my best in all of that classes i go to bed i am like ah, proud of myself because i i have achieved what i wanted all right so always keep telling yourself that you are really proud of yourself pat on your back because nobody else is going to do that i will do that for you <laughs> all right so make yourself proud guys and don't stop until you feel proud of yourself okay with that let us go forward and here is it if you are there on instagram do not forget to follow him on instagram my handle is learn_with_mohan why should you follow me there to get all of the updates of what classes what new series i am planning you can also interact with me there ask me your doubts it might take some time to reply all of you but i will and yeah follow me there if you have instagram if you have instagram if you don't have instagram no problem you can follow me here on the vidantu yang wonders channel okay let's go so the different topics that we'll be learning in this chapter is we'll start off with introduction because you all know whenever we start a chapter we'll be like hey dude my mohan your friction so we'll start with the introduction then friction in our daily life the force of friction factors affecting friction increasing and decreasing friction this is what we'll be seeing in today's class in the next part of the class we'll be talking about the types of friction theek okay? hai let's go forward these are all the different topics but wait a minute wait a minute ipl season is going on right we are all excited about ipl but sadly all of our favorite teams are losing you know i am mumbai fan mumbai indians fan because of sachin i was always been his fan from the beginning and i was sad because they were not winning all my friends were from csk chennai super kings even they were not winning <laughs> so we both were like it's okay dude i know the feeling and they were like i also know the feeling <laughs> right so since the season is going on right now what we'll do is we'll take an example of a match of a very interesting match that's going to happen between two teams mumbai indians and chennai super kings we'll see all right yes ready i'm going to draw a big ground right now it might not be accurate <laughs> but don't mind me okay okay we have the huge you know ground stadium right it's time to make the pitch 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 here yeah kind of looks fine okay now which team is batting we'll take 
Mumbai Indians are batting, okay? So we have Rohit Sharma who is batting here. And we have the other player who is batting, you know, on this side, on the uh, that side. This side is the batsman. Now, uh, uh, we have the bowler. I Unfortunately, I don't have yellow color. We'll take RCB, okay? We'll take red color. Okay, we'll take red color. Uh, there's a bowler who's running here. In this way. Fielders, a keeper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where else, da? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more, one more, one more, somewhere here. Okay, whatever. Check it. Random fielding, random fielding. Okay, don't, don't, don't get too accurate. Okay. Now, what is gonna happen? The match is like this. You need four runs to win the match. So Roy Sharma is batting. He's like four runs for one ball, and Roy Sharma he knows where to hit the ball. Now what Roy Sharma is gonna do is he's gonna hit the ball where you know the bowler bowls. Roy Sharma plays a very good drive, and the ball goes in this gap. Entire crowd is shouting in slow motion, and the ball goes here and. Guess what? Stops. The crowd is like, Ayo. Everybody is shocked. I played a nice drive. Why did the ball stop right before the uh, you know boundary? Nobody, no, none of the fielders stopped. The ball itself got stopped. Now Rohit Sharma is thinking, why did this happen? Because Rohit Sharma did not attend my class. He had to know about something called as friction. So there is one, you know, one uh, invisible force, invisible force that has stopped the motion of the ball. So what is that invisible force? We will see guys. That invisible force which opposed, which opposed to what? The motion of the ball. Let's say the ball is here. This is the ground. The motion of the ball is towards this way. The ball is rolling towards the boundary. That this is the motion. And there is an invisible force acting in this direction, opposite direction, trying to stop. Now, what is that force that stopped the ball from reaching the boundary? What is that force? That force is nothing but friction, guys. So let's talk about it. All right. Now, All right. Let's take one more example right now. Forget the cricket for some time. This is for people who don't watch cricket. <laughs> All right. For people who are scratching your head. Sir, boundary. Ya. Sir, four runs. Ya. Sir, Mumbai Indians. What is this? For all of you guys, another example. How many of you guys... You know, have you, you know, uh, took your bicycle and have you guys, you know, pedaled it nicely? Every day? Do you guys do that? We all do that. In fact, you know, people uh, like me, we all come in bike, car, whatever it is. Right. So, what happens, right, when you apply brakes? When you see somebody, when you see, you know, your dad is calling, they come, it's time for homework. What do you do? You apply the brakes and the bicycle comes to a stop. The bike comes to a stop. Right? But why does that happen? Right? To slow down the bicycle, we apply brakes. And why does the cycle or bike or car which comes to stop? Due to what? We'll see that. Okay? So, it is clear that there is a force which is acting to oppose the motion. What does that mean? There is a force which doesn't like things to move. Right? I'm having a very bad hair day today. My hair is going everywhere. Fine. So there is a force which is stopping from things to move. It's like I am not going to let you go anywhere. Now, and that force is not only observed for any moving vehicles. We can observe for objects moving on surface. Any object. A ball rolling. A child on a, you know, on a, a what is it called? A slide. An athlete who is running. Right now, me walking here. So all of this, 
something is trying to stop me from moving that is nothing but friction guys the force which opposes the motion of one object over another object is which is in contact is called as friction all right now if you check this out here the box here the box here motion is towards this way friction is acting in the opposite way friction is an opposing force got it it opposes the motion of the object that is what friction is but guess what there is a word here contact what does that mean that means that friction is a is a contact force friction is one of the examples of contact forces because the surfaces have to be in contact when the ball was rolling on the floor on the ground it was in contact if rohit sharma had hit a six no it would have gone but he played a drive the ball went rolling on the floor and friction was acting on it it stopped the ball from moving okay friction is a contact force now what are the factors that affect the friction to understand this we should understand why friction is happening in the first place what is the reason behind friction now this is going to be exciting listen carefully okay let's go to our empty uh, uh, board to the, to the to the stadium pitch <laughs> all right so let's say as i already told you ball the field the ball was going in this side friction was towards this side theek okay, hai this we are clear now what we going to do is we going to zoom into this place which is in contact let's zoom and see if you zoom and see both of these surfaces are irregular irregular what does that mean the ground is going to be like this the ball also is irregular oops okay you can see both the surfaces are irregular now what happens between irregularities how many of you guys have played with puzzles right we have all played with puzzles something like this right what happens the puzzles interlock what happens they interlock similar thing happens between this irregularities what happened interlocking now tell me why does friction occur friction occurs due to the interlocking of the irregularities present between the surfaces i'm repeating again friction uh, is an opposing force which opposes the motion of an object why does it happen it happens because the surfaces are irregular when this irregularities interlock each other friction occurs okay you can see that the irregularities between the surfaces it what caused friction all right simple as that now what if the surface was very hard very irregular the surface was very irregular this is one surface this is one surface the if it is rough the interlocking will be done nicely tight friction will be friction will be more okay suppose if the surfaces are smooth right the surfaces are what smooth friction is less this is how the nature of the surface affects the friction 
If the surface is rougher, friction is more. If the surface is lesser, friction, uh, uh, smoother, friction is less. Why? Because of the interlocking. If it is more rough, interlocking will happen nice. If it is not that rough, interlocking will not happen that nice. Okay, simple as that. I hope all of you understood this. Yes, a very beautiful diagram by me. Take a screenshot if you want. <laughs> Let's go back. Yes, you can see here. Yeah, the factors that affect friction. On a smooth surface, you can see there are no that much irregularities. On a rough surface, you can see all irregularities interlocking each other. So, friction force is affected by the smoothness of the surfaces. The surface is smooth, friction is less. The surface is rough, friction is smooth. And remember guys, there is no surface which has zero friction. Every surface, no matter how much you polish, it will always have friction. Friction might be less. But friction can never be zero. There is no surface with zero friction. Remember? Okay. Next. Second thing is, friction is more if the surfaces are pressed harder. Example, if it is heavy. Okay. Let me draw and show you. Suppose there is a surface here. And there is a box on this surface. The box is 10 kg it means it's it's heavier when the objects are heavier no suppose this is the top box this is the surface interlocking will be tight because it's pushing 10 kgs are pushing it so it will be very hard for us to push it because friction is more if the weight is very less then let's say the weight is only 0.5 kg 500 grams loose we can easily move all right the second factor which friction depends on is how hard the surfaces are pressing each other that's basically the weight if it is more heavier friction will be more if it is less heavier friction will be less okay that's the second factor which friction depends on remember this oops 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 okay next one it is independent of the area of contact. What does that mean? It doesn't matter. It's independent of area of contact. You can see it's the same. Here the area of contact is more because two boxes, it's, it's the area of contact is less. It's independent. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, friction is also called as a necessary evil. Like my, you know, maths exam. I don't want it. I avoid but but maths likes me i can't avoid right we all there, there are some things in our life which we don't want but we also can't live without it right sometimes when i'm on diet no today no junk food right junk food junk food junk food i don't like it but we can't avoid <laughs> right it's, it's like necessary at the same time similarly friction is a necessary evil. In some cases, it's very important. We need friction. In some cases, we don't want it. It's, it's an evil thing. Okay, for example, when your teacher is writing with a chalk on the blackboard, no teacher, a teacher is there, no blackboard, no chalk. Pen, bro, pen. <laughs> All right? It is rough surface. The board is rough. The pen is rough. So I'm able to write on this. Isn't it? Because there is friction between the pen and the board. That's why I'm able to write. If there is no friction, what will happen? If I try to write. I can't write only. First of all, I can't hold the pen only. The pen will... The pen will... <laughs> don't tell. Don't tell anybody. The pen will not. We can't hold the pen also. Alright. So, yes. Surface rubs chalk particles to the stick to the blackboard, which when friction... Without friction, this was not possible. It can't be done. It's not possible. Okay? Yes. Let's go forward. Also, while lighting a matchstick, friction also produces heat, guys. Only because of friction, the matchstick burns. For, for even burning a matchstick, we need friction. Now, let's see how friction affects us in a bad way. 
Guys, for walking, we need friction. Okay? But if you keep on walking with the same shoes, what will happen? Your shoes will become like this, like my shoes when I was in school. I used to have this white canvas shoes and my, all, my shoe always used to have a hole <laughs> in this place and stones used to go inside. Because I used to play so much, run so much, walk so much. So, every time, due to friction, tiny, tiny particles of my shoes are removed. As I, on a longer run, the entire sole will be gone. So here, friction causes wear and tear, not just for you know shoes, also for tires. The new tires look very good. You will have better grip. As you keep on using the tires will become smooth. You will not get proper grip. Okay? Yes. Also, friction is responsible for wear and tear of machine parts also. Okay? Sometimes, you know, even your bicycle, your bicycle ka chain. If you keep on using it due to friction, you will have to change the chain after a few years. Right? Now, what else? How can we increase friction? Are there ways on which we can increase friction? Yes. For better grip, friction is always increased. For example, when, uh, uh, when, when, you, when, when you see people playing kabaddi, what they do? They'll apply some sand on their hand to make it rougher. If it is rough, more friction. Right. Also, you might have seen uh, rock climbers. They'll have some powder in the pocket. They'll take the powder, apply, and then they climb the rock to get better grip. Or if you look at shoes, shoes have nice, you know, the soles will have nice grooves like this. Okay, let me see if I have. Yes. If you check my shoe, it will have nice grooves like this. Why does it have all these grooves? The grooves are there to provide me better grip. If it was smooth, then obviously I can't walk properly. Right guys? Yes, that's why shoes have that grooves there. Next, for tires, tires will also have grooves for better grip. So we increase the friction by making the surface rough. Alright, how do we, you know, how do we reduce the friction, decrease the friction? Sometimes, no, due to friction, your bicycle will make sound when you're, when you're, when you're riding it. We don't want that sound. So we'll add some oil to make it smooth or the door, <laughs> especially night times, you know, uh, when you want to go to your kitchen, when you, when you don't want to make any noise, so, you know, uh, sneak into the kitchen and have some snacks, you'll open the door, <laughs> you'll get caught. So all of that is because of friction. We can reduce that by adding oil, now polishing the surface, making it smoother basically or adding wheels to luggages. Why wheels? We'll do that in the next class. There is something called rolling friction. We will learn about that. Okay. So the substances which reduce friction are called lubricants, like oil. All of these are grease, lubricants. Okay. Now, can we reduce friction to zero by polishing the surfaces or using 5-10 liters of oil or lubricants? Can we reduce the friction to zero? Let me know in the comment sections right away. All right, guys. Now, something even more important uh, I want to tell all of you is, guys, the pro light classes have begun, and this is the right time for you all to get enrolled to pro light classes. Now, I'll tell you why. Okay, for the entire academic year, what do you think is the price of the pro light classes? If you go to my video right now, in the description you will find these links. So, you're from grade 8, we'll click on this link. Check this out. Oh my god, I'm there. Okay, check. <laughs> I got shocked. So, we, you, for the entire year, the course is just for 5,000. For the entire year. But wait, scroll down. What all you get? The subjects covered are Math, English and Science. All these three subjects. And the one year course plan includes live in class doubt solving, 100% doubt solve solved in the class, in class quizzes and leaderboards, assignments and class notes, study materials, everything guys, along with classes every day. For how much? 5,000? No, use my coupon code MKPRO. If you use that, your price comes down to 4,500 only. With all of this, 
okay in class doubt solving assignments and notes quizzes leaderboard study materials what not what not for just 4500 only for the live classes will not be by the master teachers it will be recorded but don't worry about it because the technology is like you will not even feel the difference if it is live or not live but the class teachers are live they will be answering all of your doubts in the class okay now if you want live classes by master teachers also then you can go for the last one which is 36000 for one year where you will be having all of this live in class by master teachers you will be having what live in class quizzes and leaderboards assignments and notes study materials live discussion of study material post class doubt solving online classes by master teachers live classes by class everything that is that is pro plus but if you only want a pro light course for the entire academic year you can you can always go for this and trust me it's a very good very good chance for you guys okay So take it up right today, guys, because the batches are starting very soon. I want you guys to get enrolled as soon as possible. Don't delay it, and you won't get this anywhere else. For four thousand five hundred for the entire academic year for all the three subjects, math, English, and science. Nowhere. Okay. So take it up right today. Go to the entire website. Okay, you can see this was me before lockdown. Now you can see I've become bulk. <laughs> all right. Yes. So it will be amazing, guys. Take it up right today. And go through the entire website. There are some FAQs also. If you have any doubts, yes. Can I change the teacher? Will I get class notes? Will I get study materials? All these doubts, you can check out the entire website. The link is where? The link is right below the video. Click on the link and take it up. All right, guys. So I hope all of you had fun. And also there will be a link for playing Wii Quiz, guys. There will be a link for playing Wii Quiz like this. Click on this link right below my video, and you can play the quiz right after this class. All right. So I hope all of you understood what we learned today about friction. It was fun, and I hope you guys also enjoyed Rohit Sharma playing the drive and losing the match. It's okay. We'll win next time. We will win. In the second part, I'll tell you what happened to that cricket match. Okay. <laughs> all right. So join the Telegram group. The link is right here. And do not forget to hit on the subscribe button, like this video, show me some love. Also, I want you guys. to give me homework answers the homework is going to be tell me where all two cases in your life you are increasing the friction and decreasing the friction in where all places you have increased the friction and in where all places you have decreased the friction example where i have increased the friction while playing kabaddi i have put mud on my hand to increase friction where i have reduced friction while playing carrom i have put some carrom powder so friction can be less so like this any such examples in your life let me know in the comment sections the top uh, comments i will give a shout out in the next class all right so i hope all of you had fun guys we'll definitely meet up in the next class so until then this is me mohan signing off don't forget to play the week quiz that's right below the video and also any more doubts about this pro light classes the, there is a whatsapp number going here right so you can send the message to the whatsapp number and get the details about it all right so i'll see you on the next class Tata bye bye take care don't forget the homeworks and take up the courses right away all right bye bye guys